Shalom family, this is Dr. Durr. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah, he who breathes life, behold the nail hands. His son Yahusha, Hamashiach, Yahuwah is salvation. The Ruach Hakadesh, the set apart spirit, the comforter, the one who leads us into all truth. Praying today that all is well with you and your family. Praying you will be obedient and that you will accomplish all that the Most High Yah has given you to do. Today's lesson is going to come from 1 Peter the fifth chapter starting at the fifth verse. I'm going to be utilizing and teaching from the Amplified Bible, but I also have my Sefer Bible next to me as we go through this study. First Peter, the fifth chapter, and I believe it's going to be a blessing to you. I pray that with all you're getting, you get an understanding. First Peter, the fifth chapter, starting at the fifth verse, likewise, ye younger men of lesser rank and experience, be subject to your elders, seek their counsel. That's wise advice. You that are just coming into the knowledge of who you are, you that are just getting an understanding of what the word is really saying, you need an elder, a leader, someone that can teach you and guide you through the process of you uh, transitioning over to who you really are and really getting a real good comprehension of what the Bible is. The worst person in the world uh, to even teach is a person that's self-taught and you can't teach them anything. They're, they're heady, they're high-minded, uh, they are totally engulfed with what they know and can't hear from anyone else. That's not the Bible's way. The Bible says he gave some apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists for the perfecting of the church, for the perfecting of the ministry. So you need a leader. So we're going to say again that you need to be subject to an elder, a leader that's over you. Seek their counsel. And all of you close yourself with humility towards one another. Be humble towards one another. Tie on the servant's apron. What did Hamashiach do for Peter when he washed their feet? He told Peter, I need to wash your feet. And Peter said, no, Adonai, I don't need you to wash my feet. I'm okay. And, the, and Yahushua told him, if I don't wash your feet, you have nothing to do with me. And you know what happened, Peter? went ahead and yielded and humbled himself. And Yahushua tied the towel around his waist and began to wash his servant's feet. So be humble towards one another. For Elohim is opposed to the proud. He wants nothing to do with proud people. The disdainful, that's what he calls the proud, the presumptuous, and he defeats them. The Most High will fight against those that are proud and arrogant. That's one of the sins that he hates, a proud look. In Proverbs the sixth chapter, but he who gives grace, but he gives grace to the humble, those that are in need of his help. He gives grace to those that are humble. You humble yourself in the mighty hands of Yah. He will exalt you when in due time. The sixth verse, I just quoted one ahead, but I'm going ahead and read it now. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of Yah. Set aside self-righteous pride. Get rid of that self-righteous spirit, thinking you know everything. You don't know everything. The Bible says, except your righteousness exceed that of the Pharisees, you will in no wise enter into the kingdom. You have to get rid of that Pharisee spirit, thinking you know everything. Self-righteous, just, just all about yourself. No, get rid of that self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time. Many people think being humble and uh, walking in the spirit of humility is somebody weak. That's what's wrong with this generation today. That's what's wrong with people uh, uh, throughout this world that call themselves people of the word, people of the Bible. Most of us have the attitude of that those that are walking humble can't hear from y'all. Those of us that's trying to practice that don't comprehend because you're more boisterous and you're more uh, uh, one of the people that speak out quickly and just say things. The Bible says be quick to hear. Slow to speak and slow to wrath. Just because you're running your mouth and, and, and talking 100 miles an hour don't mean you know everything. Humble yourself that he may exalt you. A humble person is not a weak person. A humble person is not a weak person. That was a saying we used to say a long time ago, just because I'm meek don't mean I'm weak. You have to be careful. Dealing with someone that you think is weak just because they're humbling themselves, just because they won't say anything about a situation. They're not weak. They just choose to do it y'all's way, humbling themselves. So 
the Bible said, connect yourself with those that are of the humble nature. That's Romans, the 12th chapter, so humble yourself. Now we're going to get into the part that I believe that's going to bless and benefit each and every one of you and myself. This, these scriptures in the Amplified, I mean, when they say Amplified, it really magnifies what the Most High is trying to bring out to his people. Now listen at this, the seventh verse. Casting all your cares on him. This is the King James I'm saying now, quoting, for he cares for you. The scripture in the King James says, casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Now listen to what the Amplified says. Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. I love that there. You can comprehend that. You can walk in that. Let me read it again. Casting all your cares, all your problems. This is me saying this to you, all your situations and circumstances. Now let me read the rest of that scripture. All your anxieties, all of your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Be sober, well-balanced, and self-disciplined. Because be alert and cautious at all times. That enemy of yours, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. That's what the Bible says. You got to keep yourself sober, well balanced, self disciplined. Stop letting yourself get out of control. That's why we need the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit, not the fruits, but the fruit of the Spirit. They all encompass in one. They're generated through the Ruach Hakadesh, the Holy Spirit. These fruit, look at every one of them, they bring about discipline. One of the main fruits in there is dealing with temperance, self-control. You need to have discipline. Be well balanced. Don't be up one day and down one day, off to the left, over to the right. Have an order about yourself. Stay balanced. Because the enemy is looking for you when you're off guard, when you're not watching. Let me go to the night verse. This is what the Bible says, the night verse, but resist him the enemy, be firm in your faith against his attack. You have to fight to stay free. You got to fight against his attack. Root it. Establish an immovable. Stop trying to fight on your own. Connect with people that know how to fight. Connect, connect with people that know how to pray. Connect with people that know how to study the Bible. Let them lead you. Stop trying to teach yourself. Stop trying to be a loner or a person on the island. You need someone to help you. That's why I listen to these great Hebrew teachers that are out here and, and great leadership that I have, that I'm up under. You have to have someone that can teach you. But resist him, and start again, be firm in your faith against his attack, rooted, established, and movable, knowing that the same experience of suffering are being experienced by your brothers and sisters throughout the whole world. You do not suffer alone. You're not the only one going through it. Stop saying that. You are not the only one going through it. Many others are going through as well. Ten. After you have suffered a while, you have to understand that you're going to go through. If you suffer with him, you can do what? Reign with him. After you have suffered a little while, the, the Elohim of all grace, who imparts his blessings and favor, who calls you to his own eternal glory in Hamashiach, will himself complete you, confirm you, strengthen you, and establish you. Making you what you ought to be. Hallelujah. He's going to make you what you ought to be after you come through that test. As you come through that trial, he's going to make you what you ought to be. The scripture said in the 11th verse, to him be dominion. This is why you praise him. Power, authority, and sovereignty. He knows what's best for you. He's sovereign. He has your best interest in mind forever and ever. So be it. That's the end of today's short lesson. I pray that you got something from those scriptures. I pray that you be encouraged in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. So be it.